So I bring them this way a little bit more. Got it. Now you feel it again. It's not totally gone, but it's smoother now. So come down here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's cool, right? So it already, it's not sticking out like a Jenga block like it was. You know that game Jenga with the wooden blocks? Dr. Doug Willen, and here we are at Rising Star Horse Rescue in Connecticut. So we're gonna be working on some horses today. We're gonna to check them head to toe. If you want more information of Rising Star, it's in the description below. So we have Jeffrey here today. We believe he's a Dutch warm blood. Uh, he was a rescue. You brought him in about a year ago? We brought him in about a year ago. Um, he and another horse were um, being shipped to New Holland. Right, uh, for slaughter. Horse slaughter. The other horse, unfortunately, we had to euthanize. Um, Jeffrey has really not many teeth left, so mm -hmm. he looks, he just was finishing some hay, everything we soak for him, so he has a lot mm -hmm. of, um, a lot of alfalfa soup. Mm -hmm. So that's what's all over his mouth. Right, and um, so you're, the guess is that he's probably about 30 years old. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, but he, he is still working, which is nice. He is. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to check. And if you've seen some of my other videos, I really like to see what that atlas and pole is doing. I feel like that's the main power switch on all of us, really. So here I am in the gap between the wing of the atlas and the uh, angle of the mandible at the ramus. And I, I'm getting some good spacing there. So I, I want to see... What else? Um, I don't see an, an atlas superior. I want to see his eye line, see if it's horizontal. See if I think the pole is out on top. I also check for um, muscle tension imbalances on the occipital muscles coming down at the pole. And um, right now I'm palpating those muscles bilaterally which will give me a clue. Yeah, so I got a, a left superior, uh, left posterior atlas. So I'm gonna adjust that part of the pole right now. And so you're gonna wanna uh, have your hands out of your pocket and hold on nicely and step back just another few inches just so if he moves, you're ready to move. Okay, Ava? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for him to relax. Got it. Oh boy. All right. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to check down the cervicals. He's got one right here. I'll count it in a second and let you know which one. So that's C3. So one, two, C3. And you can feel it. Do you want to come feel it, Kelly? So. If you come down right here, here, soften your hand up, right there is a lumpy spot. Oh, yeah. So that's a, Sorry, that's a vertebral body, and it's lurching out to the left a little bit. Switch again, Ava. Here. So I'm going to laterally flex him, and as I do, I'm going to adjust that. So I bring him this way a little bit more. Got it. Now you feel it again. It's not totally gone, but it's smoother now. So come down here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's cool, right? So it already, it's not sticking out like a Jenga block like it was. You know that game Jenga with the wooden blocks? And um, let's keep going, let's see what else. So now I'm at the lower cervicals, five, six, seven, even into T1, the first thoracic. Let me see. He has no problem bringing his head up. Let's see if he wants to bring his head down at all. 
Let's try a tree to bring his head down towards the sternum. So here's the tree. Give me some slack, Ava. No, he's got good range of motion. So that's going to give him a treat for that. Sorry, Jeffrey. I feel like the lover's cervicals are great. So, um, Matt, stay on that side as I come down this way. And um, I'm going to just check fluidity of the thoracics and then the lumbars. Seeing if I see any misalignment. So now I'm wiggling the spinuses. And I'm just looking to see if any are tilted, any moving. I got one right here. Let's see, six, five, four. Actually, L4 is out too. Two, one. So right now I'm at the uh, thoracolumbar junction at T18. And I'm going to adjust this because I have it here. Got it. I, feel, I felt it move a little bit. We still have L4, so I'm going to get up on a block now on my bail. Let's just show it to show it to him and see what he thinks. Okay, and I'm going to get up. So I'm going to climb up now. So here's L4. They have six lumbars. We have five. They have 18 thoracics. We have 12. They have seven cervicals, so do we. We match on the cervicals, seven neck bones. You know, I don't have a great angle, so I'm gonna raise my block even higher because everything is about the line of correction and I really have to be accurate for me to be able to deliver a perfect, you know, or at least what I want to do is do a great job, not a mediocre job. So here I am again. Got it. Now I'm at the uh, tuberosity crallus. I'm going to palpate through here. I'm also feeling the muscles. I'm feeling the sacrum underneath. I'm feeling the sacral apex. The sacral apex is right. So I'm going to push it back to the left. That's it. I got it. I'm going to come down and check his rear end. I'm going to do a little bit of a reflex. See if he collects a little bit. Not getting much there. I'm going to take his tail. And here you don't want to pull. You just want to um, let him do all the work. There, at that point he started pulling. Just very gentle, it's a little tail traction. Okay. I'm checking the glutes now. Seeing if I like the muscularity here. Let's see if I see any flaccidity, any uh, atrophy. And um, checking the legs. Checking the, the rest of the ilium. I like what I see. Let's go up to the front end. So I'm going to come up here on the front left and I'll just lift his leg up a little bit and bring it out for extension and just see what that feels like. There's a little hesitancy. I want to see if compare it bilaterally. Remember he is 30. So Checking range of motion, bringing this leg out. He doesn't know me yet either. We're brand new with each other. Good. Checking everything in here. I also feel the muscles and the soft tissue. I am gonna go back to the front left because I do now feel there was something. Uh, the front end? Yeah, front left. 
Yeah, so I, uh, Kelly was saying that she's down the hallway, that that is where he does get stiff. So I found that front left, so I'm going to do a little adjustment on it. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do uh, inferior scapula and an anterior humerus is what I thought I felt. So I'm going to come in and recheck that. So first I'm going to do the scapula. Got it. And now I'm going to do the humerus. You got this, Mads? Good. And let's recheck it. I'm going to give him a second to integrate that. And then I'm going to bring that leg up and see if I get a little bit more fluidity when I do. And see what, see what he thinks of that. So it's already coming up much higher. And I didn't get that shakiness. So what I felt the first time, and that's why I wanted to check it bilaterally, because it just could be him at 30 years old. But when I brought up the left leg, it, it, it had some hesitancy. And the, uh, it was twitching a little at the top. So now it's not doing that. I do want to check his TMJ. His left TMJ is a little fixated, so I'm going to do that next. TMJ is right up in here. Got it. I'm just going to do a little facial traction while he loosens up. That's good that he's chewing a little bit. And that's all we're going to do today. Thank you.